calcium. So of course for bone formation and growth. Um, and also for our kids who are on PPIs, we try to maximize their calcium intake to meet their needs. We have no data yet to say that they need more than the recommended value for age, but I know that a lot of my kids have trouble actually getting that recommended value in anyway. So the reference value for this is 1,000. Anyways, uh, so on the bottom there is 45%, and since it's 1,000, you just add a zero. This one's totally easy. So it's 450 milligrams per cup. So it's a pretty good source. Younger kids need 800 to 1,000-ish milligrams a day, and um, older kids need 1,300. <coughs> Alternative sources, leafy greens, broccoli, almonds, salmon, obviously, um, and that's actually from the bones. So you know the little bones that some of them we pick out and some of them we just eat. It's actually just in the ones that you eat. <coughs> and then... Another question, every one cup of raw broccoli contains 43 milligrams of calcium. So 10-year-old would have to eat 30 cups of broccoli a day to meet their calcium needs from broccoli. So now we've upped the ante. Um, so calcium, best sources, fortified dairy is, or fortified dairy alternatives really are the most fortified sources. So when you're off dairy, this would be a good choice. As you can see there, the 45 again, um, so 450 milligrams. And then supplements, we do use some supplements um, when we can't get it in by drinking, or sometimes we just don't want to um, just drink rice milk just to get calcium. So some of my kids would just prefer to either do the powder or another, or a pill if they're older, just to get it in, and then they can drink other things. They can drink water um, and then get their nutrients from other foods instead 